Well, it's a pretty nasty day. Chores still have to be done. We have the chickens and the pigs that are together over in the um, garden area. We're gonna move because the pigs have literally made it nothing but a mud slop, the pigs have. So we're gonna take the chickens, put them where the meat birds were because there's a lot more grass. It's just not as nasty. So even though it's a flood and I told Aiden earlier, he is about to help me. We're about to go feed all the animals. You can see the cows are standing out there waiting. Um, we're gonna get the chickens moved. The water should be fine because it's been flooding since last night. Um, glad we went ahead and got the meat birds done because the weather's supposed to be like this through next weekend. So like for the next six or seven days, it's supposed to be thunderstorms, raining on and off. So we're all geared up in our rain a tire and we're off to get our chores done. But first is fuel. We ain't going nowhere without gas, huh, A? Nope. We ain't going nowhere. Y'all like that English? Where are we from, Aiden? Mississippi. <laughs> Seriously, um, we have to fuel up before we go, so that's what we're doing now. sitting on the ranger but i'm not going to be able to record much because it's flooding um i'll show you guys you can see that our pens are just out there just getting so muddy with the pigs because they've made such a mud mess so i'm going to catch them move them where the meat birds were get them out of that mud <clears throat> take their laying boxes over there uh, we'll start feeding them over there i think they'll be a lot happier okay i'm disgusting but we got them all moved over. I fed them in there, got them locked in. What we're fixing to do is bump this down. You can see where we've had them, we've just been sliding them down. We're gonna bump them down a little bit more. And then I'm going inside to get cleaned up because we are soaking wet. The rain has washed most of the mud off of me, but we're gonna try to get this done. Um, I think they'll be a lot happier over here in this grass section compared to the mud slop that they were in so they're chilling and eating staying dry right now we're gonna try to get this done and i've got to cover up my phone man i'm disgusting my other hand's disgusting my clothes are disgusting it finally did stop raining you can see i got the chickens moved i better not get too close to that fence I actually, I was gonna slide them straight down, but I decided to slide them down and over a little bit. Because if you see, I've got a muscadine tree right there. Those are all blueberry bushes. So I'm gonna let them destroy the grass around our um, kind of fruit orchard. And I'm going to let them fertilize it. So um, you can see the ones over there look very happy. I still have some that I have scared just about half to death that are still in the coop. <laughs> and then we got all of this moved back over, the charger moved back over and everything plugged up there. So you can see they're over there. They are enjoying that grass, cleaning themselves. I think when they went from the mud slop to this grass, I, I think they're gonna be so much happier. You can see them enjoying themselves. and they're eating the bugs. So they're doing like a three in one job for me. They're eating the bugs over here around the fruit trees because I obviously don't want bugs. When my fruit starts coming in, the less bugs that are over here, the better for us and the fruit. They're enjoying the grass, I see. 
just they're eating the tops off that grass like crazy which is also good because i don't want the grass taking over my fruit so they're going to be destroying the grass and they're fertilizing it so that's only going to help make my fruit trees even better so um i decided you can see that they were up in that area up there where it's kind of muddy you can see that that's where they were so I moved them over here on some pretty lush, fresh, green grass. They are enjoying it, yet they're working for us. This is what permaculture is all about. Um, so it was a nasty day here on the homestead today. I've, me and Aiden have literally been flooded on this morning. We have been, that thing right there is supposed to be movable, but it ain't no joke. It ain't light. So it took me and him both dragging that thing through the mud. I'll walk over there and show, show y'all where we moved it. And then getting those rods up also took some muscle. This is not the kind of stuff you want to see going through your field where your stanchion is and you mule it. You can see where we drug it. That's where it was. You can see that square to where we moved it. And that was a job. So, at least they're happy. They're working for us, but they're happy. Um, I'm glad it stopped flooding on us. Happy homesteading, y'all.